Some days are rough, some days are tough. It feels so good to be returning to normality, so good to put the sport of boxing back in the limelight in this country and globally as well. It doesn't really get much bigger than this, to be honest. Outside there, one of the best stadiums I've ever seen. Just under 70,000 people will come together on Saturday night, live on Sky Sports box office in the UK, live on DAZN in around 170 countries around the world. This is the fight of the year. This is, I believe, an iconic moment for British boxing, an iconic moment for British sport. As the unified heavyweight world champion, Anthony Joshua once again puts his belts on the line against the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, Alexander Usyk. This is gonna be a tremendous fight, and I believe everybody here, everybody watching at home, everybody in the incredible arena on Saturday night in a stadium, we're in for a night I believe we will never, ever forget. 25 years of over 100 Sky box office bonanzas from Bruno Tyson to Lewis to Naz, Ricky Hatton, Mayweather, Pacquiao, David Hay, Froch Groves, and of course, Anthony Joshua, who we've enjoyed this wonderful relationship with. There for AJ's pro debut, there for eight electric years on some of the biggest stages globally, a partnership entwined and a journey we hope and believe will continue for many years to come with Anthony and his team. And I hope Freddie is having a wonderful wedding today. Likewise, we've really enjoyed working very closely with Alexander Rusik and his terrific team as he's developed into one of the best pound for pound fighters on the planet. Can Alexander's technical southpaw brilliance fulfill his dream of becoming world heavyweight champion? Or will AJ's second reign as king continue in some style at this massive event here at the fabulous Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? The atmosphere on Saturday night around this state-of-the-art extraordinary venue will be second to none. It's brilliant to have fans back in their thousands. We're set up for a magnificent matchup that should deliver a fight and a night for the ages to add to the boxing history and legacy that we're very, very proud of at Sky. Enjoy and best of luck to the fighters. Thank you, Adam. And we will go to the fighters' teams in a second. I think uh, this fight, for me, when you analyse it, we have two great pound-for-pound -pound fighters in front of us here. Firstly, the challenger in Alexander Usyk. When you look at the resume, the undisputed cruiserweight champion, you look at the way that he's continuously gone into people's backyards to win those belts. The Marco Hook fight in Germany. Of course, the Gassiev fight in Russia. The Bradis fight in Latvia to Manchester to beat Tony Bellew to London to beat Derek Chisora as well. And the man on my right, the defending champion. By far the best resume in heavyweight boxing. One of the best heavyweight resumes in the recent era of heavyweights. You go back to the last 12 fights, it is an extraordinary run. Beating Dillian White, beating Charles Martin for the world title, beating Dominic Brazil, Eric Molina, the great fight with Vladimir Klitschko, the last minute replacement against Carlos Takam, unifying against Joseph Parker, the mandatory Alexander Povetkin, the huge upset in New York against Andy Ruiz, the victory in the rematch against Andy Ruiz, back against the mandatory, in Kubrat Pulev, and now back against another mandatory in Alexander Usyk. Show me a resume in the division that can even compare. These are two great pound for pound fighters, and this is an incredible heavyweight matchup. Firstly, I'm gonna pass over to a very important member of Team Usyk, and uh, been a partner of ours for a long time. Alex, I remember when you and I met in the Charles Sank Hotel in Paris, we put a deal together, a three-fight deal at the time before the Bellew fight on a pad of paper, probably no bigger than that, and it still remains in my drawer. You've stuck to every word that was on that paper, so have we, and this is a massive moment for you and Team Usyk on Saturday. Yeah. By the way, I keep it in my wallet. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Uh, to say I'm delighted to be here is to say nothing. Such a huge fight. Um, former undisputed cruiserweight, fighting the reigning champion, the reigning unified champion. What can be better? Uh, those guys are two Olympic champions of London, facing each other again in London to learn who is the better man, who is the best man. And, uh, you know, after 
cancellation of uh, so many fights recently this year, I still cannot believe this fight is happening, and it's happening upcoming Saturday. First of all, I would love to thank Anthony Joshua for his courage and for his, let's say, daring to accept the toughest challenge of his boxing career. AJ, you have a heart of a warrior. Thank you so much. I want to thank my friend Eddie Hearn for keeping it simple, for uh, his professionalism when we were dealing with this fight, when we were making it. Uh, I remind when we first met, when we made the first fight of uh, Alexander Usyk in Ukraine, he was the cruiserweight by that time, and um, not the most popular division, but he made it really popular. And everyone could understand that this guy had, has something special, but no one could anticipate that someday he will be challenging three heavyweight, three belts in heavyweights. This is something incredible. You know, uh, every ambitious fighter is chasing for glory, is chasing for recognition, for success, for fame. And there's only one way to get all of those things is to fight the best fighters. And AJ is the best. He is the king of the division. But if you want to become a king yourself, you have to dethrone the king. So let this fight happen. Let the best men win. And we see you again for the rematch. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Aegis, uh, welcome. You've been there the whole journey, haven't you? I mean, an unbelievable rise in the cruiserweight division, picking up all the belts. Um, not been plain sailing in the heavyweight division with COVID and, and battling through that. Two fights in the heavyweight division to get yourself in the position of super champion with the WBO. You've, you've waited your, your time. The champion agreed to make the defense against the mandatory. This is a, a big night for your journey, a huge night in the journey of Alexander Usyk on Saturday night. Good afternoon, London. I'm happy to be here. Very proud to represent one of the best fighters in the world in the heavyweight division. Uh, we did a lot in the cruiserweight. Now it's time to do something in the heavyweight. Um, everything, a lot has already been said. We're not going to go back and forth how much we were waiting for that fight, how much we were fighting for the fight. Uh, at that point, I just wanted to thank Matchroom, I wanted to thank Eddie Hearn, I wanted to thank Anthony Joshua to taking this and, and the putting that together. I've been in a, so many big, huge events of boxing around the world, but if I would say anything was close like this, I would be lying. This is the biggest event of our team, of uh, my, uh, my experience, so I'm, again, I wanted to thank Sky Sport. I wanted to thank The Zone putting this together. And uh, Saturday night, well, very excited. Thank you. Thank you, Igis. Thank you, Alex. Before we go to the fighters, I turn the attention to Rob McCracken. Rob, um, a great fight. Alexander Usyk, who you would have seen so much of, obviously being part of the, the GB team and seeing him in the WSB as well, you know plenty about him. This is a really, really, fantastic heavyweight fight. Yeah, it's as good as it gets in heavyweight boxing. You've got a unified cruiserweight champion undisputed fighting the unified heavyweight champion. Um, it's a fight that should happen. Anthony will fight anybody that, that's available, any contenders, as he always has done. You've just gone through his, his list of opponents. And Usyk's got a similar list at cruiserweight when you look at it. So this is an absolutely brilliant fight for the world of boxing. And it's one that we really look forward to. Anthony's trained really well. He's in, a, in, he's in great spirits. He's had really good sparring. And, you know, he's looking forward to the fight. It's going to be a huge event. And it's one, like I say, we're really looking forward to. When you look back over those 12 fights, we, we were joking about it earlier in the week. And at the time, you feel like you're a competent fighter. And, you know, Anthony would have felt like he was ready for those fights. But all of his learning has been done on the job. And he sits here now as maybe not a seasoned heavyweight, but an experienced heavyweight who's been part of these major events, major fights, and he's gone through that process. 
I believe sometimes not getting the credit of, of taking those fights with the professional inexperience that he had to get to this moment where he is ready for, for the biggest of challenges. Yeah, I think the first huge challenge was the Klitschko fight, obviously, you know, going into that fight. Um, it was a big, big ask. Klitschko had been dominant for years in boxing and, and Big Josh hadn't been a pro for too long. So, um, but that's the way he is. He, you know, he, he wants to learn on the job. He wants, to, he wants to take on all comers and he'll adapt as he goes on. And that's what he's done since he turned up in, certainly in Sheffield 11 years ago and went on to win the Olympic gold in, in 18 months, which is pretty unheard of in Sheffield, to be honest with you. That was fantastic for, for Great Britain, but also it just shows you what he's about. And, you know, he, he drew the Cuban in the first fight. He was too, more concerned about what time he was eating. And that, that's the mindset of these, these types of fighters. And, and Big Josh is, is who he is because of the way he thinks and, and the fighter that he is. Thank you, Rob. Alexander, welcome. Um, I know you've achieved much in your career. As Igis says, it simply doesn't get any bigger than this. Олександре, отже, ви досягли дуже багато в вашій кар'єрі і дуже важко ще сказати, що ще можна зробити. Та ще багато чого можна зробити. You can do a lot more. <laughs> you, uh, you look calm and uh, I know you are very calm in your preparations, but on Saturday night, it will be an atmosphere like you've never seen before. Any nerves or just, just excitement going into this fight? Ви виглядаєте дуже спокійно, беручи до уваги те, що в суботу буде велика напруга, оскільки буде такий великий бій. Чи можете ви сказати, що ви нервуєтесь? Я відчуваю себе дуже добре. Я дуже чекав цього моменту, я дуже цікав, чекав цього, цього бою. Я дуже хочу подякувати команді Ентоні, Еді Хірну за те, що своїй команді, за те, що все це відбудеться в суботу. I feel fine and I look forward to this. I would like to thank the team. I would like to thank Eddie Hearn and my team as well um, and to say thank you them and I'm grateful that this is happening on Saturday. I know that you as a fighter chase the legacy and obviously being the undisputed cruiserweight world champion this would be an incredible moment for Ukraine and for you personally would cement your legacy as a pound for pound great Я знаю, що ви продовжуєте в наслідок є нащадком вже історії, яка існує і я знаю, що ви доведете також ваш результат в суботу оскільки ви є боксером у важкій вазі. Ви доведете свої. Всі ці поєдинки, які відбуваються у світі, вони залишають історію, велику історію. Так от ми з Ентоні робимо ще один ще один крок до історії, яку потім будуть згадувати, про яку будуть балакати, дивитися по ТВ, читати. Це все історія, яку ми з ним робимо. You know, every fight uh, makes history and um, I think um, me and Anthony are going to uh, make another step in history. Um, something that uh, people later will be talking about, um, people will remember, people will be watching it on TV, and it will make history. Alexander, thank you very much. Thank you. AJ, back again. As we said, three years since the madness of an event like this, the stadiums like this, Alexander Povetkin, last time out at Wembley. Since then, traveling to New York at MSG, traveling to Saudi Arabia, and back in front of just a thousand people in, when you beat Kubrev. Kubrat Pulev, back to the big time now, switched on, ready to go. This is a fight that I've seen you get very, very excited about. Uh, yeah, thank you all for coming. Happy to be back again. Um, this fight that I'm very excited about. You've got you to want to train. You've got to want to put the work in. You've got to want to improve. You've got to want to practice. So that's why I like, when I started boxing, it was fun because I was absolutely S-H-I-T when I started. I'm still getting better, 
but I like the challenges because I was trained. Come back three months later, I'll beat the guys up that were giving me problems. I would fight. If I lost, I'll come back again. So this fight gives me the motivation to practice um, against a right-handed fighter. Um, so I've had fun in camp. Hasn't been too, it's been demanding and challenging, but we make it fun because it's practice. When you can see improvements, like a, like a dog or a baby, you know, when there's improvements and you praise them, they want to do more. So I've wanted to give more and more each day. And uh, I'm still in camp now. For everyone here, I hope you enjoy fight week and the build up. But for a fighter like myself, this is just another day in camp. And um, on Monday, or maybe Tuesday, I'll be back in the gym. So I'm just looking forward to performing. Um, if you guys have come out to see what I do every day in the gym, <laughs> I do this a lot. Um, I practice, I spar a lot, um, I hit the heavy bag a lot. So you guys are coming out to see me hit a live body bag, and you're coming out to see me kind of spar one guy. Instead of sparring like four or five guys, I'm just going to be in the ring with one guy for duration of 45 minutes and I hope you guys really enjoy everything that I've been working on on Saturday night. I've seen you work very hard in this camp, I know you always do, but is part of that driven by the quality of Alexander Usyk? I know you rate him, I know you've, you saw him on the amateur scene as well, clearly he's a great fighter and, and you know you're going to have to be on top of your game on Saturday. I wasn't on the amateur scene for long enough to, to know about Alexander, but when I start getting heavily involved in boxing I do a lot of research and um, I really love uh, the Ukrainian style. I like the Ukrainian people. Um, I was first obviously met Vladimir Klitschko, who's a phenomenal champion. Uh, utmost respect to him when he invited me into his training camp. And uh, I like Papachenko as well, phenomenal man. Uh, stays behind the camera, but it's kind of like Rob, they're quite similar. Stays behind the camera, but uh, very experienced. They love boxing. I really love boxing. I love everything that they do. I love everything all my opponents do because it gets them to a stage where we fight each other and the cream always rises to the top and we're here now and good luck to them. Good luck to them. They prepared, they've been, I think he was fighting 10 years as an amateur, maybe 10 or 12 years as an amateur before he went to the Olympics and the world. So he's been fighting for a long time and um, he's probably happy to be in this position, comfortable with this position like myself. I didn't fight for long, but I was always comfortable fighting. And I'm really like, looking forward to doing what I've been doing for a long time, practicing on Saturday. As I said, it's another day in training camp. I think probably around 90% of, of world champions in your position, with your ability to draw crowds and TV numbers like you do, would have swerved the mandatory challenge of Alexander Usyk. I never believed you would. I guess this team probably thought you might. But for you, there was absolutely never any doubt. When this mandatory was called, when the Fury fight fell through, this is just what you have to do as a champion. Is that, is that part of your desire to, to build this resume? I know you're a boxing historian. You look back over great fighters that have been in great fights as well. And when you look at that 12-fight run and Usyk on the end of that run, you are building quite a resume as well. And I, I get the feeling you like that. Do you know what I love throwback fighters. I'm, I'm not a major historian because I spend a lot of time practicing, so I'm, I'm not going to reel off every date and every fighter that I've watched, but I do watch a lot, a lot of boxing. Um, I don't really fight good fighters because I want people to respect me or anything like that. It's just, it's not complicated. If you tell me I was fighting King Kong, I'll give it a go. Honestly, um, if you tell, it's, it's an opportunity for me to work. This is my job. I'm just going to work. Um, he's going to work, I'm going to work. Everyone here is at their job. I just, honestly, it's a blessing. This is the best days of my life, and I'm really happy that so many people are interested in boxing. I remember in 2008 when I started, there was a global uh, financial crisis, and no one was really investing in sport. Even through the pandemic, we realized that no governments were investing in boxing. So we know how boxing is viewed, but it has so much potential. So I made like that commitment, I'm gonna, work hard, try and bring attention to boxing, and it benefits everyone, not just me, the managers, the promoters, the fans get a good look in, the undercard get an unbelievable opportunity. So uh, it's been a blessing, it's been really tough, 
I don't promote boxing because I want to be famous. I promote it because I, I want everyone to benefit from it. I really work hard to make sure boxing is uh, really respected like these guys do. And I work hard because everyone that's coming out Saturday has been committed to me, been committed to my opponents. And I pay them back by putting in a lot of work in the gym. And finally, I saw a quote from you earlier where you said that the last place you'd want to be is facing off against you 100%. in the ring on Saturday 100%. night. Are you ready yeah. to yeah, put yeah. in a great performance on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I'm not an easy fight for anyone. You know, I like fighting. Um, God has blessed me. He showed me the path to get into boxing. And it has to be a reason why I'm here. It's been quick. It has to be a reason. And... Um, you know, yeah, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm blessed, I'm happy, I don't take it for granted. And I, I appreciate everyone coming out, honestly, honestly. And I hope you guys enjoy what we do every day. Uh, this is just training camp. One day I'll invite you guys all into training camp to see what I do. This is just what I do every other day. As I said, Monday, Tuesday, we'll be back in the gym training, um, just doing what we do. This is just my passion for the next X amount of years. I've signed a career long contract with Eddie, so I don't know how long he's going to be. <laughs> getting me on this table talking to you guys. Maybe 20 years from now, I retire. But right now, I appreciate you guys and I honour you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Alexander, Aegis, Alex, uh, Rob. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, DAZN. And thank you to the media as well. And I think important also... Questions? Sorry? Do have any questions? We're going to do that. We're going to uh, also thank Daniel Levy and all the team at Tottenham as well because that was uh, some effort they've made to put this event on at this incredible stadium as well and I want to thank our team at Matchroom Sport, Frank Smith, Matchroom Boxing and everybody done such a great job, 258 Management as well, Freddie Cunningham as Adam said getting married today as well and uh, as I said Saturday night we are lucky lucky people, we get to watch I believe a fight of, of our generation that will go down in history as a classic two London Olympic gold medalists, the unified heavyweight world champion, the undisputed cruiserweight world champion. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Do not miss it on Saturday. Thank you for all your support, and we look forward to an incredible night on Saturday. We're going to have a head-to-head -head up here now. Thank you very much.